Hello good people of the internet welcome back to Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, this is the Toro Grosse's secret uh, assassin tomb and you're listening to Neutral Net Nanny. Yep. Um, I had a look through some of the previous uh, footage that I'd actually done and uh, this one proved to be uh, about the same. So it needed some tweakery to get it fixed. Unfortunately, and it really is unfortunate too. Um, it pretty much is one of the weirdest things that I've ever come across that the music is so pervading. I'm not sure if this one actually has got a uh, a warning for copyright on it. It probably will do because it's got the same music running through, which is approaching target. So I've got to basically narrate all the way through it. Um, when I do the assassination missions I'm, I'm actually going to upload one of those and see if they actually have the same issue. If they do then then they do. Uh, so there is an assassin seal inside the Toro Grosse. Um, if they have the same issue as, as all the other previous content does then fair enough I'm actually just checking to see if there's any hidden loot underneath the doors? Uh, there isn't. <laughs> um, I have noticed, however, that um, the difference in the uh, pickup between uh, the uh, overlay narration that I'm doing now and the actual game captured uh, narration. Um, there's nothing I can do about that. The mic pickup is the same mic pickup, it just happens to be coming through louder. Um, through the audio recording than it is through the game, unfortunately. Um, and that's the layout of the first room. It's a very, very cool map. Um, and one that you... I think is the first one... No, it's not the first one that you encounter that's got hostile ads in. <coughs> um, it's a relatively simple map. And one that can be walked through quite easily. Um, I think I tried to avoid being noticed by a couple of guards. It doesn't quite work. There you go. That's him assassinated. Uh, uh, we run over to the... Uh, where is he? Where is he? He's various. Uh, what I should have done, because immediately he's going to find me, is uh, wait. Uh, he found me and he's going to find me, unfortunately. But I get him, nonetheless. Oh, we've got an uh, emergency vehicle running around. Um, it's a relatively quick a quick and easy room but um, I would have preferred to have not been spotted by that that second guard uh, which is quite easy you just hang off the edge and wait for him to to come round. Uh, it just, just happens that I didn't manage to do that this time around unfortunately. I'm just scanning the room to see if there's any hidden pathways or any extra loot there isn't. So you've got to go make your way around and jump across and shimmy, shimmy, shimmy around. Two seconds. No, still one there. I thought I heard a door going. And shimmy. Every every time a game tells me to shimmy, uh, shimmy on the edge uh, <laughs> or the ledge. I always think of Wayne's World every single time. I can't help it, but I do. <laughs> uh, here we go. Uh, so there's no extra loot around there. No, unfortunately. Uh, so, yeah, what I'll be doing from now on, uh, so as we don't get into this position anymore, uh, I'll be recording... Uh, the game soundtrack at the same time as actually doing the game. Um, 
so you at least get my um, I believe the correct term of phrase is contemporaneous voice recording at the same time as the um, the content ah secret area that is how we get to the loot so you, you get my voice recording at the same time um, as I actually play the game that way you don't yes you'll probably lose the game or audio and I am uh, given how many of these warnings I've actually had for Assassin's Creed I'm starting to have a very not nice thought about removing the game's music completely so as this doesn't happen I, and I don't want to do that because the music is for me what actually makes the game um, as good as it is and I, I, I don't want to have to be removing it just because I keep on getting copyright notices now it probably is what I'm gonna to have to do to, to some degree but oh yeah I remember this room too but um, I'll try and try and reach some degree of balance but it's gonna be tricky it's really really tricky uh, and it's just just unfortunate um, I think the gear is the Florentine uh, or is it Tuscan no Florentine Emerald um, because I, I did mention that I would be um, yeah, just checking if there's extra loot down there there isn't um, that I would be changing the gear every time I did a different video and that's exactly what I did Uh, you can wait, or you can wait. Unfortunately, I get spotted right there. Um, the trick I found is um, to use poison, and you get the poison as soon as you start talking to um, uh, Medici. Oh, Lorenzo um, and I completely skip over that part because I wanted to get the tombs done uh, so I do what I usually do get all the side quests and all that guff out of the way then you're free and clear to play the game the way that you want to the downside being of course that uh, when you do it that way you often miss out some of the things that make the side quests slightly easier um, <laughs> it's, it's just one of those things unfortunately um, this room can be a bit tricky uh, based off of the um, the distance in the height uh, from which you got to climb so if you fall you actually have to go back to <clears throat> to pretty much that point you can run and uh, run and gun up the walls and up the uh, up the cupboards but to actually get up to the next level you have to go pretty much the way I'm going now And I'm going to be spotted by Duda. Doom. And there we go. Right off the wall. Uh, being told about Christmas sales and all that sort of stuff via email. I'm just wondering what your plan uh, plans are for Christmas. Uh, if you have any, what, what sort of stuff you will be doing if it's special I hope it's nice and uh, you have a good one but um, my Christmas is going to be quiet with my family uh, well I say quiet so it's going to be with my, with my family I can't exactly say it's going to be quiet <laughs> but um, yeah I hope that you all have a nice Christmas anyway um, or Hanukkah if you are Jewish do like to be multicultural without trying to impose it like my government does unfortunately ah no this this guy uh, don't try and get him when he's in line with you because he'll just keep on knocking you off like he does um, see he'll just keep on following you around and do that and you can't grab 
uh, until you do that. If you fall all the way, uh, you are going to die. No two ways around it. So, <laughs> so you yeah, actually have to go all the way around back to the lanterns and up and around. Uh, there we go. And the notifications off, which is good. Then climb up and over, and you've got to wait until he's until his back is away from you, or you're just out of the range of his peripheral vision. If you are, he can then uh, go ahead and just take him out because it, his cone's actually fairly large. Uh, that's what she said. <laughs> Sorry, had to. Um, <laughs> and you can you can take him out relatively easy. He's one of those that I think I'm not sure if you can pull him off. Obviously not. Um, but um, yeah, it's it's nice and easy to get to get sorted. Um, I think because I saw a little black handhold on the side. Yeah, there's loot just just past out of camera range, over there. You can see just just there. So where is the way up? Yep, yeah, there it is. There's the loot. And the way up is there. So we scale the wall. So that you've had access to hidden treasure one and this is two. And away you go. Across the scaffold, all the way across. And over. Round down it. And yep. And in we go. Loot. Um, I actually had my c a controller plugged in um, and um, charging, uh, and I always have it plugged in and charging, so as that's avoided whenever I'm doing any gameplay, so as you don't see any any warnings that the battery is going to be running low or anything else. And I've actually set my PS3 up so as I don't receive any uh, friend uh, login notifications. The downside is, of course, I actually don't get any messages from them or the notification that a message has been received, which is a problem. <sighs> Scale there and wait for. No, don't fall all the way to the floor. You just scale up that up that section over the, over. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Keep on going. Go, 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 go around. Yep, yeah, there you go. Up. Go. What are you waiting for? Go. Uh. Well, he's directly above me, so you got to wait until he goes back. It would have been better if I'd have actually um, jumped up. Yeah, do that. Around and straight away, and then he can't see you. And all you got to do is just wait until he gets to that point there. Take some medicine, because you have to. Yeah, go to there, around, and boom, dead. That's how you do that. And of course, loot the body. The one time I actually thought that the ladder was the right way round, and it isn't. <laughs> no. Back around. And over here. There you go. Much better. Up. 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 There we go. Over. Over. Now this one could have been potentially tricky because there is a guard stuck in in the box, uh, which meant I had to then run to do that. If that had gone a little bit awry, it would have been a problem. Now um, I think I got think I got this map mixed up with another one, which ironically I think is either later in the game or in Brotherhood. Um, in that I'm looking for a special entrance to. To one place, but not finding it um, because it's not here. <laughs> um, because I, I thought that there was there was a section where you had to uh, climb on handholds to manage to get to 
uh, the hidden loot that's locked locked away. But um, as it turns out, this isn't the correct one. So, and I make that uh, discovery part way through, uh, going all the way back down. But um, if I actually do manage to get to that, well, not if, when I manage to get to that map, um, then I'll be able to uh, walk through and get to it properly. But I, I honestly thought that that was the, that this was that map, but it's not. And you can actually only manage to get to that hidden loot once, which is a shame. <laughs> So, yeah, it's one of those things. Uh, I've just had uh, someone pop in and with the usually shout up and let me know that they're in the house and uh, I'm recording, so <laughs> just got to make sure that uh, all the sound is out of the way. And I, I make the realisation that there is nothing else to be had in the map. Now, I think I've got to do this about three or four more times uh, for the maps that I've got. I know I've got uh, the Templar layer that's in uh, Florence, uh, and I've got a horrible suspicion that, that the assassination video that I've done, and I've got uh, a video that's featuring pretty much all the assassinations that are in Florence, that are available, and there are eight of them uh, to begin with. Um, that I'm going to have to do this sort of recording. So whenever I get to the position where I think I'm going to have to do a recording following the video all the way through, and whenever I get to this specific section where the um, audio actually is, um, or approaching target begins, I'll have to cut the video, <sighs> record more audio over the section which needs to be cut, um, I'll put it in a separate video, uh, wherever approaching target is, extract the video, um, overlay a new audio, this, pass it back into the same video, and um, carry on, which means actually doing it about eight times during one video, which is going to get cumbersome. So whenever it, whenever it gets to me doing an assassination mission, I'm just going to delete the audio, and like remove the, the music completely, which is a really bad thing, but I can't be having this amount of work for one game anymore. And if I actually let it run, then the audio will completely drop out because YouTube will think that it's me ripping someone off when I'm I'm not. I will freely acknowledge the music here is actually approaching target one. Shame. Or maybe not. No, I was right. There is nothing higher. Right. Well, of course, that's where the uh, glyph is. So that's me done with the Assassin Tomb in Tuscany that's available at the minute. So I'm going to crack on back to uh, Florence because there is a Templar layer there uh, and I'm going to get that one done. So I will catch you on the next video. So see you in a bit. Bye.